what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video where I will be talking about Olivier Giroud's potential January transfer to Inter Milan and basically to go meet out with Conte again, which I think will probably work for him. Callum hudson adoy is scintillating form since coming back into Frank Lampard's Chelsea and what he brings to the side. Christian Pulisic being praised by Frank Lampard and looking like that relationship starting to, not that it ever was bad, but really starting to flourish and his importance in the team is being recognised. And finally, the left-back decision for Frank Lampard. Marcus Alonso's come in, he's done very well at times. Granted, last time out he wasn't very good in open play, but scored the match winner. Is this going to cause a headache for Frank Lampard? Loads of interesting stories to get through, and I will do that in today video just after I remind you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy for daily Chelsea videos. Interesting if you're a Chelsea fan, maybe interesting if you're not a Chelsea fan. Regardless, please do subscribe and hit the bell notifications icon and help me out by liking the video because hopefully you like the video. Right, let's start with big Ollie Jeep's potential move to Italy to go meet up with old Chelsea boss Antonio Conte. Now from a Conte perspective, this is kind of textbook, the way he's picking out players from the Premier league like Lukaku, Sanchez, is Yuru definitely sort of fits that mould. Players that have been very, very successful in recent years but perhaps aren't being utilised to their potential or aren't completely happy, he brings them to Inter, they hopefully perform. I think Olivier Giroud would do really well for Inter Milan. And obviously he's played a little bit under Antonio Conte before. He would be the striker in the 3-5-2 formation and he'd have a sort of big man, little man thing going on and um, he'll basically have a number 10 or a second striker playing off him. I know it's a cliche about Serie A being a little bit slower than the Premier League, but really it is. And Olivier Giroud would suit that style a lot. He wouldn't be expected to do too much running. He just wants to sort of be physical and dominate in the opposition's box, which is Olivier Giroud all over. And for me, it makes a lot of sense. You could see why Antonio Conte would want him. You could see why probably Giroud would want it. He'd get a, probably like a three-year contract. He'd probably get a decent contract where Chelsea might not offer him a 12-month extension. So it makes sense for Giroud, even though he has spoken about going to the MLS before. But, you know, he might fancy a move to Italy on the way to MLS. And it will suit Chelsea because Chelsea will make a tiny bit of money off him because it will be a six months left on his contract rather than him going on a free. I don't think it's Chelsea's inclination to make money on him. I think they probably want to keep him happy because in his short time at Chelsea, he's actually been a very, very good servant. I think Frank Lampard likes having him around. He thinks he's a good striker. Probably understands a striker of his caliber who's the starting number nine for the world champions in France needs game time. So if he knocked on the manager's door and said, look, mate, let me go in January, I'm sure Frank Lampard would do it because, to be honest, for the way Frank Lampard plays football, Michy Batshuayi is the number two at the moment. So maybe reluctantly he would let Oli G go, but what do you think? Do you think that'd be a good move? Let me know in the comments. Second story, let's talk about the left backs. Right, so Emerson Palmieri, when he played for Chelsea this season in the Premier League and indeed all competitions, was very, very good. He was looking better at the end of last season he became the starting left back for Maurizio Sarri and as a conventional left back generally he's a lot better than Alonso. He had very impressive metrics and statistics and all that stuff but he got injured and Alonso had to come in and a lot of Chelsea fans were worried but you know what Alonso was very good in a lot of games he was showing his physical dominance in the air he was showing actually a lot of his sort of professional experience in many games Sure he's slow, sure he's bad at tackling, sure he frustrates a lot of the time, but you know what, he came in and he did well and he deserved props Marcus Alonso. Last time out against Newcastle, he was very bad. He went bad, back to bad Alonso in terms of open play, but he scored the match winner and that is something that Marcus Alonso has done before for Chelsea. When Chelsea need a goal, come of the man, Marcus Alonso has come and won them the points. Now Frank Lampard will recognize that. He will recognize his general good performances of late and that match winner and his general experience in the Premier League in English football and he might have a you know a bit of a headache now when Emerson comes in fit again who stylistically maybe suited Frank Lampard a bit better if he's got Alonso he keeps playing maybe scores another goal puts in the other you know the odd good performance again is Frank Lampard gonna immediately throw Emerson back into the picture it's a difficult one I mean Someone like me, I'd say, yes, please, can I have Emerson back, please, in terms of stylistically fitting the, the mould better. But we all know it's a meritocracy with Frank Lampard and Chelsea. Things are going well, he likes the blend of the youth and the experienced players. 
Alonso is certainly an experienced player. And he might find it hard to take him out of the lineup, especially if he scores another goal. So that would be a really interesting one to watch. Maybe it is a bit of a headache in terms of selection for Frank Lampard. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Right, before we talk about the Christian Pulisic feel-good factor back at Chelsea, let's talk about... Callum hudson Adoy. Obviously, hudson Adoy signed his new contract, a big contract for a lad his age, and Chelsea knew he was a very, very big talent, but really, people didn't know what to expect with his return into the team. Obviously, moments of flair, moments of, you know, expressing his talent, but really, since he's come back into the side, he's delivered what's probably of the utmost importance, and that's maturity. The way he's played, he hasn't tried to overplay. He's definitely been making the right passes. He's been switching the play at the right time. He's been putting in so many perfect would-be assists onto the forwards. He's been tracking back, he's been defending, and he's been doing a lot of running. This is the perfect type of application he could have shown to Chelsea, Chelsea fans, and more importantly, Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard said, yep, yeah, he's talented, but I want him to run. I want him to, you know, knuckle down and be good and help the team. Kind of stuff that Maurizio Sarri said. To be honest, he's been really impressive. He's done all those things. He's done a lot of running. He's done a lot of intricate passing. He releases the ball well enough. And he, you know, although he's taken a couple of shots on, because obviously he wants that Premier League goal, he hasn't been you know, selfish or he hasn't been silly and wasting possession. He's been very mature on the ball. hudson Adoy has three Premier League assists in just two starts already. He actually has an involvement every 65 minutes. Now, it would have been nice for him to add that goal into his minutes so far, but to be honest, in terms of like contributing, that's pretty immense in terms of returning from injury. An involvement every 65 minutes for someone who's not a striker, like a wide forward, a creative player, is a superb return. I know it's early days and he hasn't played that much, but that is incredibly, incredibly impressive from the young Englishman. If he keeps playing like this and gets, you know, 10 Premier League assists and a few goals, he would have had a wonderful season considering this is his first full season of the Premier League and he's coming off an Achilles injury, man. Remember, he's only just come back into the team, so hudson Adoy deserves massive, massive praise, not for just demonstrating his immense talent and ability, because let's get it right, you can see, and I've said this before, you can see when he's on the ball, he offers something completely different. You know, the way he moves with the ball, he dribbles with both feet, the way he can basically shimmy around players, you saw it against him playing against Newcastle. I think on match of the day, they were gushing over him, Gary Lineker and Alan Shearer. Obviously, immensely, immensely impressive, but it's not just, you know, the, the talent and the skill, it's the maturity and it's coming off an injury. So expect big, big things from Callum hudson Adoy moving forward and indeed this season. Right then, Christian Pulisic, it's been a huge talking point this season. Big money signing, comes into the team, has a few wobbly moments, low on confidence. The media keep talking about him not playing, has a couple of negative experiences with the national team. Huge news story. Now, people were criticizing Frank Lampard for not playing Christian Pulisic, but you know what? I think Frank Lampard's handled this perfectly. He's constantly maintained to the media, look, this is a young kid, he's only just turned 21, he's in a new country, he's got the pressure of this like big price tag on him, but I wanna nurse him in quietly, I wanna show him what it's all about in terms of work rate, you know, Willian came in and was playing instead of him on the wing, and Willian basically demonstrated immense work rate, right? and he said not to just Pulisic, but he said, look, this is the example for everyone. He's taken Pulisic in and out, and he's always praised him and said, no, he's very important to us, we need the competition, he's equal to everyone, but he hasn't hyped him up too much, or he hasn't said anything directly derogatory to Pulisic, so I think he's been very, very good in his handling of young Christian Pulisic. Now remember, Christian Pulisic isn't in direct competition with, say, just Willian or hudson Adoy. It's with Mason Mount as well in the number 10. He came on against Newcastle and played in that number 10 where he's played so much in his career and he was vital in creating the winner for Chelsea. And Frank Lampard recognised that. He went out of his way to praise Christian Pulisic after this game, Frank Lampard. He said he was integral to us winning this game for that goal. He came off the bench, he showed, and he said Mason Mount wasn't having the best time of it. He was happy to admit, you know, his surrogate son. He's like, no, look. This game, he wasn't on it, Pulisic came on and he was on it and that's what we need and it will do his confidence the world of good and he needs that and basically said a lot of positive stuff. I feel like the way things are going, the feel good factor around the club, the way Pulisic's been like celebrating with his teammates, hugging Frank Lampard after the game, I feel like everything's going just as it should be and after a difficult international break for Christian Pulisic, these little moments sort of settling into the team 
will indeed do him the world of good. So it's lovely to see and hopefully Chelsea move forward and Christian Pulisic sees more minutes and has more uh, key passes and goal involvement. Anyway, what do you think about these new stories? Get in the comments below and let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you've enjoyed today's video, please do like the video. And remember, a couple of quick plugs that if you want to join the Discord server to talk to me and other members of the GOAT gang and Football Therapy, you can join our Discord server via the Patreon link below. Also, you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That's on both Instagram and Twitter at Football Yannick. I'm out, guys. You enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.